Are you crying? No, I think I just got like some bang bang shrimp in my eyeball. Look. What are you doing? I'm working here. I fixed something. Am I framing it perfectly? We're a bonefish girl. And I'm gonna try everything on the menu. All the seafood, some chicken, and lots of drinks. Of course, always. Let's go inside, let's do it. I'm ready. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. I usually inhale about seven servings of bang bang shrimp at once. I'm excited to do that again today. Just me and Chelsea. I'm gonna <laughs> eat all of it. Where's the shrimp? This is the fanciest first round we've ever had. <laughs> I feel so rich. I'm already crying. Can you see it? I'm only looking at the bang bang shrimp and that's it, tunnel vision. This is one of the most copied recipes and Delish actually has their own. So we've also copied from Bonefish. Uh-oh. <laughs> My body said, let's eat it all, baby. Okay, if I had to describe this, it's the perfect amount of creamy and spiciness and crunchiness. I have this burning desire to shove it in a taco. The bang bang sauce can literally go on anything. Oh. Gotta move on. I don't wanna move on. I'm in love. Love at first bite. Fire me. I have decided that martinis are the drink of the season. I have solely decided this. I love martinis. Oh, very grapefruity. I usually don't like grapefruit, but this one's not really obnoxious. I like this. We're gonna move on to these beautiful crab cakes. I grew up in Maryland for a good amount of time, so I'm very picky about my crab cakes. Mmm. That's mainly all crab and very little stuffing. That is very good. This imperial dip has mozzarella, parmesan, it's got shrimp, it's got scallops, it's got crab. It's got all kind of like the fancy seafood. That's a huge bite. That's really good. I think this and the bang bang shrimp are tied for number one in my heart right now. I'm not even giving you good descriptive words. That's comforting. That's so warm and happy. This looks beautiful. This would be first place in a beauty pageant. I'm gonna do it without the soy sauce at first. Ooh, that's, okay, so there's sesame in here, which makes it really like perfectly creamy and a little sweet. Mmm. This is also a ton of sashimi. This is a lot. Wow. I would plow down that though. See you. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat that for the rest of the day. I love a good aioli. And this one is a citrus aioli with its salmon here. Citrus salmon, avocado, sweet potato. This looks like a very beautiful fresh salad. Fruity, fresh, really nice. The Wagyu pot stickers. This is giving me those feelings of just like, I just wanna sit here and just demolish them. A good sign of a dumpling is that you just can't stop eating it. You just keep going. And then you look down and it's empty. That to me is a good sign. And that's what I'm feeling from this. When we were little kids, my brother used to keep the mussels and store them under his bed. And my mom would find them because it would smell so bad. Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna get annihilated for that one. My favorite from this round, is obviously the bang bang shrimp, then it's the dip, and then it becomes a tie between the pot stickers and the sashimi. Okay, next round. Let's go. Oh, you see that? You see that? Oh, that is so cute. It's literally a little mini bar, and you get to select what you want from it. Mine says everything. Fitting for me. <laughs> I ate so much on the first round. I don't think I've ever gone that hard on round one. I actually feel full from round one because I went back on that bang bang shrimp like three times. Let's eat it all, baby. This is a beautiful brunch round we have. We haven't done many brunch rounds. I'm going to go in on the creme brulee French toast first because it's just what's in front of me and I like the easy way out of things. That's a messy bite I just made for myself. Oh, 
It says it has Grand Marnier and orange zest in it, and you can taste it just a little bit. It's not like orange shoved in your face. We have here Johnny Cakes with, I believe there's scallops in here, it says, and some shrimp. And it almost looks like, oh, wait, oh. There's truly actually nothing more satisfying than doing that. We're gonna have a Johnny Cake. I've had like, I guess these are basically like a little savory mini pancake in a sense. You get the egg in there. It's very flat. It's a little flat baby. What's in there? There's like peppers and there's shifu. My mind is confused because I went from the French toast to this. I do not like pancakes most of the time. And this is a savory mini pancake with seafood in it. I love Bloody Marys. From the Bloody Mary mini bar, we got everything. So it comes with hard boiled eggs and you can get bacon. And this looks like a bunch of horseradish. You get olives that are stuffed with blue cheese. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Tomatoes and shrimp. And then, you know, your lemon, your lime, and the vegetable of the day, celery. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's the right amount of spiciness. A zing ting on your tongue. This is very good, very savory. And if you love Bloody Marys, I think you'd have a very fun time with this. This is a choose your own adventure going on right now. We got the crab cake rancheros, which is great because it's a Maryland style crab cake. And I love some spicy sauce and that little bit of guac, look how cute. That looks great, that looks beautiful. Wow, I've never had a crab cake like this. I'm very intrigued. I'm hoping that this has like the bang bang shrimp flavor to it, because that's what the sauce, the color of it kind of looks like. Oh my God, it's better than the bang bang shrimp sauce almost. Fighting words. I know, that is, that's bad of me to say out loud, right? We all know where this goes when I drink more of this type of stuff. And it's like half of you hate it when I drink, and then the other half of you is like, more, more, more. And I feel very torn inside about it because I just want to make you all happy. We have an avocado toast, the most basic girl at the party. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with being basic. That means that everyone likes you. It means that you're just very popular. This tastes like a your basic avocado toast with a bit of an upgrade because you got the feta in there and you have the tomatoes that have been just slightly, looks like they've been slightly grilled. We've got filet mignon and lobster tails. I have officially become a rich person. I literally like microwave my dinner sometimes. I don't deserve to have filet mignon right now. Wow, okay. This is a classy brunch. Filet mignon should always be on Benedict's. Now I have to know if the lobster one beats the filet mignon one. They're clearly in a fight right now. Okay, that one's good too. I don't know. I am I think I'm at a tie. This one's called The Cure. Maybe this will be my saving grace today. It has Old Bay, which I'm already a huge fan of. It has a red gravy sauce, and we've got shrimp in here, and we have bacon. This looks like something that's gonna send me over the edge. I've never had red gravy but I've decided I very much like red gravy. It's that Old Bay seasoning and almost like a Creole flavor to it. I wouldn't ca call us that spicy. I was not expecting I'd like the creme brulee French toast as much as I did. If I like sweet things, that would probably be number one, but I don't like sweet things, so I have to go with the Benedict. But that creme brulee is second place. Hi, lobster roll. Oh wait, in the drink? I'm a sucker for tiki cups. Oh my God. Can I take this home with me? I want to take this home so bad. This is so, oh. Are you crying? No, I think I just got like some bang bang shrimp in my eyeball. This is where words no longer come out of my mouth and I'm just gonna put, just shove things into it instead. And we'll call it a day. Large and in charge bite that I have produced for myself. has a little bit of a peanut flavor to it. I think it's more of a sesame and peanut flavor. And it's very, I hate saying fresh every single time, 
but there's really no better way to describe it besides like fresh and light and very easy to eat a lot of, as you can see, I just did that. I wanna eat that in the summertime. We have to talk about this fish glass, just for a quick moment. This is a tiki fish. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that is an interactive experience that I can get behind. I just got a new tooth yesterday that was $3,000 and I just tried to eat a hard candy on that tooth. Dr. Heller, I am better than that. No, okay. You're supposed to suck on it like a lollipop, I've decided. <laughs> That's rum that tastes like candy rum. That tastes like 19 year old me would lose my over this. Wow. Not that 19 year old me ever drank. I give this one a 10 out of 10 because it has this fun activity for you to do while you're eating it. Oh my God, is there a, and there's a pineapple in here. The candy is stuck to my, my tooth, but not my fake tooth, not my expensive one, just my real one. Are your real teeth more expensive than fake teeth? That's the real question, their value of them. We're onto the fish and chips, and these are big honkers. That's a big boy. It's about the size of a face. Just gonna dip it in there. Just gonna go for it. That's flaky, that is sweet. That is lovely. It's literally the Bang Bang Shrimp, which is about 90% of what's in my body right now. I'm now going to eat more of it in a taco form. This is literally just gonna taste like it with tortilla, but I have to check, so I'm just gonna try. Okay, that's going well. Even better in taco form. I've been waiting for one single moment to hold like a trophy so someone will notice me. This bread looks extra crusty and happy, and those are big ass pieces of lobster in there. I'm not quite sure how I'm expected to eat this, but that has never stopped me before, so it's not stopping me now. Some lobster rolls are super buttery and sweet. This one is not one of those. It's much more like acidic. I also put a lot of lemon on it. We got slaw, we got mango, we got some pepper. Bend to the taco. Don't let the taco bend to you. My mom would say this is spicy. I don't think it's spicy. I might like this one more than the Bang Bang Taco. Because, no, 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 because Bang Bang Shrimp is very good. But this is a different experience. This one has a lot more flavor going on into it. This one is just really good. But this one has way more personality. Okay, lobster roll, tied for second place, tied for last place. You order the Bang Bang Shrimp as your appetizer, so then you can order this taco for your main meal, and then you don't have to do the Bang Bang Shrimp tacos, because you've already had it as your appetizer. Yes, that's what you do. And then you order this little fish thing so you can suck it like a lollipop. Is full from round one. Oh, f <laughs> I'm just gonna drink my fish drink. Is that another thing? Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, uh, we were like, it's it's oh, jeez. Oh my God. Oh, I wanna pull it. I wanna pull it so bad. This is such an exciting moment for me. Uh, this is a smoky old fashioned that comes in this little chest here, which is quite an interactive experience. It is available until February 4th of 2020. Oh, this smells like I'm in a library. I know how 401ks work now. You take a sip of that and, well, here's a pork chop with some bacon on it. And it looks like some onion, and it's probably sweet and bacony and savory. Candied bacon. I wouldn't expect a seafood place to do pork chop. Not pork chop, but pork in general. But this is very good. It looks like it's a cavatappi noodle, which is my favorite noodle. I love the shape of them. And you got a lot of the little bits on there. I like that one a lot. And this is coming from someone who's very lactose intolerant would eat an entire box of lactate just so I can eat this entire thing. 
that's how I feel about this. This glass keeps freaking me out. I'll see in the side because it's slanted. So it keeps making me think that the drink is falling and it makes me want to swipe it, which seems like the opposite thing you should do. But I keep seeing like it looks like it's about to fall. So I want to go like that to it. It's like when you stand close to a bridge. And all you want to do is jump. Okay. <laughs> so we got some sirloin here. Next we have the sirloin and a crab cake and broccoli. And this is probably one of their bang bang sauces. Oh. It's much spicier than I thought it was gonna be because I thought it was just the bang bang sauce. And it's not, but I do enjoy that immensely. I think I've had this crab cake three times and I keep acting like it's gonna be something else. Just gonna check to make sure. There's still this entire half the table. I can't believe there's another round after this. Fun fact, they catch their own fish and they cut them themselves. Yes, they, they, they slice the fish themselves. That's not a sentence. How do you say it? Cut the fish in house. <laughs> That's my fun fact. We got some shrimp. Looks like it's blackened. Very light, very subtle. I love scallops. They're just like melt in your mouth. Very, I don't wanna say moist, buttery. I'll say buttery. It's buttery, it's melty, it's light. But again, scallops are kind of rich, so I'm sure if you did eat all of them, you would feel very, very full. It is mashed potatoes. Potatoes au gratin. It means it has cheese. What's another bite of cheese for a lactose intolerant girl? Oh, that's better than the mac and cheese, maybe. Brussels sprout time. Brussels sprouts with some ham, some hamon, bacon with some Aioli. I don't think there's bacon in there. That's it's ham. It's ham is bacon. Bacon is ham. I don't. All I, all bacon is ham. All ham is not bacon. Yes. Yeah. I think. What? <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't know. I'm. Don't, I agree with that. No. 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 Let's do a fact check. I'm over this. <laughs> this is good. Eat it. I don't know. I bet it would taste even better with bacon. Downward spiral has commenced. We have a striped bass, and we have a bed of rice, and we have this lovely buttery sauce going on here, which I can only imagine is going to make me feel very happy inside. Ooh, lime, citrusy, lemony, fresh. Words. I'm not giving real reviews anymore. I'm just like saying words out of my fucking mouth. It's a Chilean sea bass with some chimichurri sauce and also some mango salsa. I'm gonna try the salsa first because I already put some of the chimichurri on here, so I, I'm not gonna do both, but I wanna give this one a fair shot. Oh, it's warm. That is fruity and delicious. I'm ever so slightly, very slightly spicy. We have our sea bass here, and you don't even need a knife for this. That's really nice. Okay, here we go. Oh, that just melts. That is delicate. That's what I'll call it. It's a delicate little dish. We have pecan crusted trout. I love when things are like super flattened and then crispy. Oh, hey girl. Ooh, let's try to take its top off. Okay. I, I really like the mouthfeel of this one. This one is very fun to eat. Would serve at my wedding. That is very good. We got some chicken here and it has goat cheese, and we have artichokes, and we have a cream sauce. Oh my gosh. That goat cheese on it is what's like, it's saving grace. The goat cheese is so smooth and creamy and tangy. You should order this if you don't like seafood, but if you're at Bonefish and you don't like seafood, I'm a little concerned, why are you here? This is an impossible round to rate because look how many things are on here. It's definitely, this is number one. I want to rate just the mashed potatoes, the potatoes au gratin, au gratin, as number two, and I'll figure out what I, my other thoughts on these later. I've never been happier to see a dessert round. Oh my God. This is a pumpkin cre creme brulee. <laughs> when did it, when, when did we get this bad? <laughs> when did I get so bad at my job? I think it was when you were double fisting the, the old fashions yes. when I was learning how 401ks work. Yes. Okay. That is light. That's fluffy. That is like, it doesn't feel real when it's in your mouth. That's my best description of it. 
This is an espresso martini, which my roommate says that she used to come here just for the bang bang shrimp and the espresso martinis, which is disgusting to order those two together. But she says it's the best, so I have to help. I just, I need to confirm that for her. That's like really strong espresso. You barely can taste the alcohol. I really think this is just an espresso shot. Okay, I taste a little bit of the alcohol now. That is very chuggable. I understand why you would put the bang bang shrimp with this because both those things can just disappear in seconds without you realizing it. We have this beautiful, glorious key lime pie. One of our editors at Delish says that this is one of the best things on the menu as well. So we have a lot of conflicting <laughs> answers of what is actually the best here. Let's investigate. Oh, I definitely like that. That's like the perfect amount of tart and sourness that you want. This is Jen's Jamaican coconut pie. Fun fact, ha, fun fact. Jen is one of the owner's wives and this is her coconut pie that she adores and loves. I feel like it's gonna taste or smell like, like a Girl Scout cookie. Every year my mom makes these rum balls with Meyers rum. Meyers rum is very good and kind of expensive, so it's very nice of them to give you this much. We have the macadamia nut brownie with ice cream and obviously whipped cream, because why not? This looks like the brownies from when I was in school almost, where they have that little bit of fudge layer on them. I'm very excited about that. If you like the center cut of brownies, you will love this macadamia nut brownie. It's super soft, warm, and very fudgy. I love all those things in a brownie, so I clearly very much love this. And the macadamia nut is like the perfect little amount of crunch that you need. Rating these, it's hard because I love key lime pie and I don't like coconut, but the coconut one really surprised me. I think I'm gonna go with the coconut one, then the key lime pie, then the brownie, and then the creme brulee. And the espresso martini doesn't count towards my ranking. This one is just a really fun cocktail and extremely chuggable, extremely delicious. We are done. Everything is complete. I have tasted everything here. If you have anywhere you want me to go next, let me know comment below and I'm also going to remember to comment below and tell you my three favorite things. I'm going to pack this all up. Chelsea and I are going to eat some of it and we're going to give the rest to all of our lovely delish people. Goodbye. I got to go. I got to go, 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 go. I need a spoon. There are plenty of spoons on this table right now.